Today's Musician Wellness Month video is going to discuss the roles of heating and icing in our musician lives. So first we're going to start with heating. You can find heating pads at a variety of different drugstores. I got mine from Walgreens and I really like how long it is because it can cover a whole bunch of my back if I need it to or my shoulders. Um, the other thing that I really like about mine is that it has three different heating settings. A low, medium, and high heating setting. When it comes to heating, we need to make sure that we don't let it be too hot because that can, that can kind of damage our skin. So we want to make sure that we want to keep it on a lower temperature, which is just always safest. So when it comes to heating, um, we really need to make sure that we know how to heat, when to heat, and what the benefits of heating are. So some of the benefits of heating are that it helps our muscles relax. So it's a really good tool to use if we have tight or tense muscles. Um, the heat goes in and it, it really does allow our muscles to relax and expand, which increases blood flow and oxygen to these muscles, and it really helps our healing process. I would highly recommend heating in the morning if you tend to wake up with stiff or tight muscles. This can be a really great way for you to start off your day in a healthy manner. It's so important that our muscles are warm before we start practicing or performing. So if you really need an extra boost or kicker, um, the heating pad can help you warm up your muscles before you have to play. So really listen to your body and see if heating prior to practicing and especially prior to stretching might be helpful for you. I would really recommend heating for only about 10 to 15 minutes at a time. The heat can cause damage to our skin, which we definitely don't want, so be careful of that and only heat in small dosages. After you heat, it's important to stretch, um, so give those areas that are tight that you've been heating some attention after you heat, but don't neglect the rest of your body because our whole bodies do need to be stretched out. You can also use heating as a tool to warm up your hands if you're in a cold environment. Sometimes we can't really control the environment that we, in, we are in. Some of, some of our music buildings or where we decide to practice or perform have really cold temperatures. So a heating pad can kind of give us a little quick, quick way to warm up our body and our muscles. So now let's move on to icing. Again, you can, you can find ice packs in most drugstores. Um, these are also from Walgreens. And when you're looking for an ice pack, it's really important to find one that fits your needs for your muscles that need this sort of attention. So this one here is one that I have used on my forearms before. Um, sometimes I just have to set it on there or I get an extra little wrap in order to wrap it around so that I don't have to worry about it falling off. This ice pack is shoulder specific for me. Um, I really enjoy it because it allows me to, to wrap it on my body and then I can still kind of move around. There are some things that I'd like to caution you on in terms of icing. Um, what icing does is it gets in and it, it helps draw out any inflammation. So if you are feeling inflammation, icing is definitely your go-to situation. Um, inflammation sensations can occur and feel sort of like a really hot or burning sensation or even a throbbing sensation in, in your muscles. So if you're feeling any of these, icing is definitely what you are going to want to do. Definitely follow the beautiful rule of 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off. I, I have to say that I would definitely recommend making sure that we have a towel or some sort of piece of cloth between the ice pack and your skin um, because icing can really do a lot of damage to our skin as well. So um, be careful of that. <laughs> when it comes to icing, we have to schedule it so that our bodies aren't going to be engaging those muscles very soon afterwards. So when you are icing, do make sure that you have the time to just sort of sit there and not use those muscles. It's really important that we relax while we ice. It, it shortens our muscles and if we try to engage them, we could cause some extra damage to them. 
The other thing that I would like to caution you on is timing of icing. Um, if you feel that you have inflamed muscles, it's really important to try to get ice on there within 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes after you've finished practicing or performing. But at the same time, you have to be careful that you don't ice and then jump back into it. So our muscles really do need time to warm back up after we ice before we use them again. So if, if you're icing in the middle of the day after a practice session, you sort of want to wait at least 20 minutes after icing before you start moving those muscles around in any sort of way that will engage them pretty strongly. If you find that you need to jump right back in, I would suggest waiting about 10 minutes after you finish icing before applying a heating pad. It is possible to do icing and heating close to back to back in order to get those muscles warmed up, but we have to be very sensitive to our skin so as not to damage it. So explore with these two options, icing and heating, and see what you, what you really need in order to work best for you. Um, the biggest point that I'd like to make is that if you're going to be playing or if you're going to be engaging those muscles in any sort of activity or stretching, make sure that they're warmed up and if you need a heating pack to help you with that, then that is a-okay. So that's it for today. Um, flutists, tomorrow we're going to need our instruments because we're going to talk about hand position, so make sure that you have those ready. See you tomorrow.